Welcome inside of Hartford All Access. We're sitting down with the second year head coach down at Consul Magnol, the softball team. Brian Rosary on hand with you. And uh, the season's finally over. Uh, so, not that things lighten up for you by any <laughs> means, but uh, if I'm an outsider that takes a look at your schedule, they had a rough season. You know, but anybody that follows you knows that you were really one pitch, one inning away right. from turning those losses into wins. Um, and I've asked you this over the course of time, now that you've had some time to think about it, um, how were you able to kind of just sustain the motivation you know, throughout the course of the season? Because you would tell me, and then I'd be like, all right, she's lying to me. And then I would ask your players right. you know, on one-on-one -on -one interviews, and they would tell me the same thing that you're saying. So you did a very good job of instilling motivation throughout the course of the season when it was frustrating. Right. Um, the game's not about one pitch or the seasons is not about one game. And what we really focused on this year is trying to play one pitch, trying to be our best, trying to improve throughout. And we really enjoyed playing. The girls enjoyed playing with each other. Mm -hmm. um, the girls enjoyed playing the game itself. And when you enjoy what you're doing, it's, it's a lot easier to keep your focus forward and not look behind. You, you can't, you don't really benefit from looking at the past. You have to continue to look at the future and live in the present. And I think the, the weather here in your second year helped on out with the sun shining uh, yeah. I down uh, from last year. Um, your freshman class really stepped on up. They kind of played, you know, above themselves, so to say. And um, obviously that needs to help you and give you your little confidence uh, moving forward. But mm -hmm. talk a little bit about the freshman class and, you know, why did they kind of play out of their elements and, you know, really contribute this year? I'm, I'm very proud of a freshman class. Payne Fisher actually earned um, America East All-Rookie Team, and she also earned second team All-Conference. She did a great job. Um, and a lot of the other girls did a great job fitting in. What we tried to do with this freshman class is bring in kind of a breath of fresh air. Young kids who loved playing ball, who were able to play multiple positions, and really wanted to be there for the team, and they gelled perfectly in that manner. And it worked out well. And that's why I think they were so successful, is because they were truly there for the team. You guys uh, were able to get a, a win on senior day uh, here at home, you know, send off the senior Sierra and, and Shannon off on the right foot. But uh, how does a win like that help you uh, boost into the offseason? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. I mean, ending their career on a high note, first mm -hmm. off, was very important for the whole team, including our coaching staff. So being able to do that was pretty huge. And then um, now we have momentum going into the next season. I mean, it sounds funny because they all month, months apart. Yeah. But when we look back at our season, that's what the girls remember. That's what I remember. Coming out, close situation in the end, and coming out on top, which was a huge improvement if you look at the whole year towards the end of our games. Now, last year when you first came in, uh, obviously you had to, um, you know, embrace the team. You know, this year coming in, you had a, a freshman class that came in. So, you know, for you personally, how was the second year? You know, was it better than the first? And, you know, how has your time been here? Um, obviously, the wins and the losses, you know, haven't affected you. But personally, how, how has it been with the girls? It's great. I mean, we have a great crew. I mean, I, I always say this. I got very lucky. I came into a really great kids, great team. And um, our girls who we brought in meshed well with them, as I said. So, again, when you're going every day to a practice or to a game or to a meeting and you enjoy the people you're around and you enjoy being there, it's wonderful. So, me personally, it's not a job. It's, yeah. it's, you know, it's something I enjoy. So, it was great for me on that, on that page. We're here on the season review with the second year head coach, Donna Consul Magno, here on Hartford All Access. Um, you know, we, we started this last year. And uh, you guys were able to kind of go on the recruiting. And, and recruiting is really difficult for you guys because once your season ends, you kind of have to have your second or third win and catch it up. Last year you were able to bring in some good girls. Where does the recruiting take you this year? Um, yeah, last year was a great crew. This year we have three coming in. Um, we have a couple of transfers. We have one who's going to transfer in as a junior. Her name's Uzana. And uh, she's from the Czech Republic. She's a pitcher. Okay. So she, she's going to make a pretty big impact. We also have Janice. Janice is um, from Texas, okay. and uh, she's more of a utility player, quick kid. Um, and then we have Erin. Erin is from Pennsylvania, and she's also someone who's a utility player and can hit the ball a bit. So we have a nice combo of players, some um, who, I don't want to say veterans, but some who had some experience at the college level already, and some who are younger, and I think they're going to gel perfectly with the, the kids we have now. Well, congratulations on your second year. I definitely had a blast covering it again. Thank you very much. It's wonderful work. I'm gonna... All you. right, that's the second year head coach of the softball team down at Consul Magno. Make sure you stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com. Uh, they'll be having a little...
a golf outing or a Vegas night or we'll be having then, then we have a fundraiser uh, coming up during the offseason. Stay tuned to hardforhawks.com for the latest.